Let's turn our attention to pituitary gland. This is the master endocrine gland of our body because it influences all the other endocrine glands of our body. And this in turn is influenced by the hypothalamus and pineal gland. Let's talk more about it. So the pituitary gland consists of two important parts. One is the anterior pituitary, the other is the posterior pituitary. Let's see a table. So the anterior pituitary is also called adenohypophysis or pars anterior. And the posterior pituitary is also called neurohypophysis or pars posterior. This anterior pituitary consists of three types of cells. One is the acidophil cells, then the basophil cells and a third chromophobe cells. And this classification is based on the staining. And the posterior pituitary consists of unmyelinated neurons. We already talked about the myelination, am I right? Here, the posterior pituitary consists of unmyelinated neurons. The anterior pituitary secretes six major hormones. And the posterior pituitary secretes two important hormones. We'll see about this in the next coming slides. And you have to note that there is an intermediate part which is called the pars intermedia. And this is poorly developed in human beings. So here is the anterior and posterior pituitary, am I right? So in between the anterior and posterior, you have an intermediate part. And this part is very poorly developed in human beings. I'll show you a histology image in a while. So here I'm going to jot down the six major hormones that are secreted from the anterior pituitary. So the acidophil cells and the basophil cells. And these two types of cells are going to secrete the six major hormones of the anterior pituitary. And number one and two is the growth hormone and the prolactin. And this is secreted from the acidophil cells. And the basophil cells is going to secrete four major hormones. ACTH, I mean the adrenocorticotrophic hormone. We're going to talk about this in the adrenal gland session. TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. We're going to talk about this in the thyroid gland. And number three and four, we are going to talk about this in the reproductive session. The follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone. So these are the six major hormones that are secreted from the anterior pituitary. So I'm going to show you the pituitary gland at low magnification. So here is the anterior pituitary or you call it as adenohypophysis or pars distalis. You can see this as more cellular, right? So more cellular and darkly stained when compared with the posterior pituitary. This is darkly stained. And the posterior pituitary, we call it as neurohypophysis or pars nervosa. And this is lightly stained and this contains unmyelinated neuronal fibers. And the intermediate part, which is the pars intermedia, and this contains proteinaceous colloid-like material. That's why it's not doing much function in human beings. Here I'm going to show you the cells of the anterior pituitary. So what are the three types of cells? The acidophil, the basophil and the chromophobe cells. Let me show you a histology image. So here is the basophil cells, that is blue staining cells, and the acidophil cells, pink staining cells, and the chromophobe cells, pale standing cells. I'm going to zoom this image for you to understand this. So here you can see the basophil cells that are the blue staining cells and here the pink staining cells that is the acidophil cells and here you can see the clear cytoplasm that is the chromophobe cells. Fine. Okay, some important points about the posterior pituitary. So, 
in previous slides we talked about the anti pituitary right the six major hormones that are secreted by the acidophil and basophil cells and we also saw the histology image now about the posterior pituitary so here is the anterior and here is the posterior pituitary and here is the hypothalamus so from the hypothalamus the pituitary is suspended and here is the infundibulum and there are two important nucleus in the hypothalamus one is the paraventricular and supraoptic nucleus the p i represented this as a paraventricular nucleus and yes supraoptic nucleus so the paraventricular and the supraoptic nucleus is connected with the posterior pituitary and this is a neuron i have represented here the cell body is in the hypothalamus that is in the paraventricular and supraoptic nucleus and the axons and the nerve endings are located in the posterior pituitary and nearby you can see the blood vessels and these are the hypophyseal veins so what is this structure the infundibulum and here you can see the herring bodies what is this herring bodies you have to note one important point here so this is a neuron am i right so so in the cell bodies of a neurons the hormones are synthesized so the hormones that are synthesized is transported along the axons and stored in the nerve endings as herring bodies fine so these hormones are secreted into the blood circulation so this is the hypophyseal veins clear so what is the two important hormone that is secreted from the posterior pituitary the antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin that is synthesized in hypothalamus and stored in the posterior pituitary this is very important to note i said these hormones are synthesized in hypothalamus and note that adh and oxytocin are not synthesized in posterior pituitary rather it is stored fine so what is this hypothalamo hypophyseal portal system so here you can see the artery that divides and ends in capillaries and here is another tuft of capillaries and these tuft of capillaries are connected by portal veins and again the capillaries join to form the veins here and this is very unusual because you can see the artery that ends in capillaries and then the veins and then again the tuft of capillaries followed by the veins so you have the acidophil and the basophil cells here that secretes the six major hormones into the circulation and you have the posterior pituitary here and the adh and oxytocin are stored as herring bodies in the nerve endings here and when there is a stimulation these hormones are poured into the general circulation here fine so here is the anterior and posterior pituitary and hypothalamus hypophyseal portal system the artery then comes the capillaries then the veins again the capillaries and the veins you have veins in between the tuft of capillaries fine next slide about the posterior pituitary hormones the two important hormones we already discussed antidiuretic hormone or adh also called vasopressin and this is an important hormone we have to do this in renal session because this is going to act on the kidney tubules and reabsorb the water and number two is the oxytocin oxytocin is also called the love hormone and this is going to act on the smooth muscles of the uterus and it contracts it and also the smooth muscles of the mammary gland and it contracts and helps in secretions of milk fine the next chapter will talk about the thyroid gland thank you see you then